I personally think that nuclear families should be prioritized and extended family needs to be marginalized because living with extended family can engender several issues. The most important conflict that arises has to do with bringing up children. Children need to experience a unified system of upbringing. Even in a nuclear family where only parents and kids live together, the father is supposed to help the informed mother in educating the kids and not to apply his own style. So, in extended families where grandparents live with parents and kids, they usually like to teach children in their own way, mainly because they think they are most experienced, so they'll do a better job than the parents. Plus, grandparents usually are more flexible with their grandchildren's requests. In other words, they kind of pamper their grandchildren to the point that they might get a sport. Besides, children find grandparents as a shield to shirk their responsibilities or indulge themselves in fun activities. For example, they might avoid doing their homework or play a lot of computer games just because they know their grandparents would stand on their side to justify their wrongdoings. Lastly, in a house where grandparents live with the parents and kids, more people come to visit and make acquaintances, so the house would be noisy and crowded. This, in turn, might make it difficult for them to concentrate, which can adversely affect their academic achievement. 